Hi, my name is Ian. I am the moderator on the Tavern Minecraft server, and I'll be explaining how to update your Minecraft Java version to allow it to work better or at all with 1.14. Some people can use the old version, it'll be fine. Some people can't. It's best just to upgrade it now, and you won't have to worry about it later. Even if you can run the current version of Java, there's still a chance you will crash for no reason, and there's no way to fix it, so it's best just to update your Java. Okay, so what you're going to do here, if you're following along on the Discord, is you're going to go into the Rules and Info section. You're going to click this download link here. This will take you to the correct version of Java, and it'll bring you to the site here. Next, you're going to want to click Accept License Agreement. And you want to find the one here that says JDK 12.0.1 Windows X64. You're going to click that one and let it download. I've already done that here, so we'll go on to the next step. So next, you're going to click this to run it. It's going to pop up a message letting you know. You just click yes. And the installer will install the program. Pretty straightforward so far. So we'll just give this a moment to finish. Depending on your computer, this might take a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. It happens. Okay, there we go. Once you're here, you just click close, you're done. So next step, we are going to go over to Minecraft, launch Minecraft. And what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna go over to settings, make sure you click keep the launcher, sorry, open the output log when the game starts. You wanna check this box. The reason for that is if your game still crashes, it will help me and the other staff to figure out what's going on. Next, come over here to your latest release. Make sure you check advanced settings. Click on latest release. And what you want to do here is you're going to click this Java executable box. It's going to go to the default folder. You don't need to worry about that. From here, you click browse. And you're going to get a file explorer. And you go to C, program files x86. You're going to scroll down to Java is here somewhere. If you push J, it'll just snap to it. And it is not here. Interesting. That is right. We are using 64-bit Java, so it is installed in a 64-bit directory. So Windows Program Files Java. Makes sense, right? Look at me, a perfect professional. Next, we're going to click JDK 12.0.1. Going to go to bin. We're going to scroll down, and you want to find javaw.exe. It's very important that you choose javaw.exe, otherwise it will not work, and you will have a bad time. Click OK. Now, the next important thing here is your JVM arguments. If you don't have this box checked, you don't need to worry about it. If you do have this box checked and you want to use JVM arguments, you have to scroll through your arguments and it's very, very important that if you have this XX plus CMS incremental mode, you remove it. If you do not remove it, your game will crash and it will never launch. So we remove that, click save, go back to the new section, and you click play latest release. Now you'll notice that the log pops up here. If something goes wrong, it will be in this log. This log will throw a couple errors at you. That's perfectly normal, that's perfectly okay. If the game does not launch, come to this log and you'll find out why. So we're gonna go back to Minecraft here. Here we go, here's Minecraft. Now one important thing to note, this only affects some people. If your game still refuses to launch, come back to Discord, Click down here where it says user settings. Click on overlay and disable the Discord in-game overlay. This only affects some people, but the game will refuse to launch and there's nothing you can do about it. If it does affect you, you gotta turn it off. You can't do anything about it. The other thing is if you go to your Windows thingamabob here, you type Xbox DVR
Or I guess it's just called DVR now, isn't it? Game bar settings, there we go. So you go to game bar settings. You also want to make sure this is turned off, because this can also crash your game for no reason. If both of those are turned off and you're still experiencing crashes, please give me your reports and I will find out what's going wrong for you. But there we go, Minecraft is running, and if we join a world... Not that one. Do I have any that are in this version? Create a new one, I guess. Super professional, don't have anything prepared. On a side note, this new loading screen is super cool, lets you know what's going on with your world, so... Hot tip, that's a thing. So if you've done this properly, your game will launch. You will get here. You can push F3. And you will see in the top corner here, Java 12.0.1 64-bit. If it says that, everything's good and you're ready to go. Alright, that concludes the guide. and You should be able to join the server happily with no problems now.